Hey guys, it's uh, it's In the Flame here. I'm the new manager of Gamers Two, and uh, I'm going to be answering some questions that people asked on social media. Uh, the first one is from Joel Dio on Facebook. How do you feel about changing your name from Joe to Joel? Uh, nah, I think I'll pass on that one. I'm pretty happy with how uh, my name is at the moment. Um, Jonathan Orinius, why did I leave SK Gaming? Mm. Okay, so I left SK Gaming because I had a certain vision for the team um, and the organization didn't exactly have the same uh, opinion as I did and uh, I felt as like if I carried on managing the team uh, I wouldn't be managing my own team kind of so it wasn't really that um, attractive for me to stay with SK for the next season. Um, I have high ambitions for myself and the teams I work with and um, yeah really like just a difference in, in opinion really. Um, but yeah I'm uh, happy that I'm with Gamers 2 now and uh, I hope to take the team to LCS. Uh, next on Twitter <laughs> from uh, Perks, the current mid lane of the team. Uh, who is the best AD carry in Europe and is Fnatic going to win Worlds? Well, my answer to that, Luca, is uh, stay cocky, kid. Um, uh, oh, freak out. What made you decide to take the manager's role in Gamers 2? Um, hmm. I mean, I had, like, a few offers, uh, but Carlos and uh, G2 seem to be the most passionate. Um, out of all of them I'm a very passionate person you'll see me shouting on the sidelines very often and uh, I don't know I feel like the management um, can trust me and my decisions but also they share the same passion for the team as I do and uh, that's very important for me um, at Gamers 2 win do you think the league team has options uh, against Wicked's team or CWA? I guess you mean, do you think that uh, we can beat them or CWA? Yes, I do believe so. Um, I think the top three this season is going to, in no particular order, is going to be us, uh, Denial, Wicked's team, um, and probably Dignitas if they qualify. Um, yeah, uh, I think all of us are pretty strong teams, but uh, I strongly believe it can be us, and uh, I think that we can go to LCS uh, if not in uh, if not directly through like first place. Then I believe we can do it through uh, relegations as well. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Daniele Ferracci, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Um, do you think SK Gaming make, made the right decision? Also, is Jesses a better AD carry than mid? So, uh, do I think SK made the right decision? Well, uh, no, not really. Otherwise, I would have stayed with uh, the team uh, because I had some kind of vision for the team and they didn't, like I said before. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think they made the right decision. Um, but I do hope that they do like well this season and make it to Worlds because uh, I didn't leave uh, with bad blood at all. Um, and is Jess is better? And is a uh, sorry, is Jess is a better AD carry than mid? Yeah, he definitely is. Um, I always felt at mid lane he looked kind of uh, out of his comfort zone a bit, but um, he actually played AD carry before going into SK. Uh, so I definitely think he's way more comfortable in the role and he's, uh, I, I would say he's past his, his old skill level at AD carry, but, uh, I still think he has a lot of potential cause he's kind of new into the role. I mean, look at, uh, yellow star, for example, he kind of, um, swapped roles and it was more natural for him to be in that role. So he excelled further in it. So I, I believe uh, Jesse can do really well in AD, like at AD carry, and uh, yeah, I do think he's one of the top AD carries in Challenger at the moment. On a scale of one to twenty-nine, how sexy is Ocelot? Uh, mm. 
Well, if I'm a 29, then he's like a 28, right? No, I'm joking. Like, he's probably like 30 or something. Fuck. Um, any thoughts on what identity you want to build for the team? Um, yeah. Um, so, what I want prim primarily is I want hardworking players. Um, <laughs> and I believe that we all share a kind of similar goal and ambition. And uh, I want the kind of team that like will sit in and do everything together. Not necessarily because they're friends, but just because they respect each other as professionals. And I want us to look like a team that's hungry. And uh, I want us to play like a team that is passionate about the game. Alright. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for, for questions. Uh, like, thanks for the vlog and uh, see you guys around. We'll be at um, we'll be at esports festival in uh, Ghent in about a month's time. So watch out for us then. Peace.